want to automate your home without breaking the bank? This tiny device might be the secret weapon you've been waiting for. I mean, not this specific one, mostly because the postman ran it over with his van and it's crushed to bits. Now you might think this is just another smart switch, but it has one special feature that sets it apart and allows it to contend for the title of Swiss Army Knife of Home Automation. It has a feature I've not seen before in any of the other smart switches I've used over the years, and I've used my fair share of smart switches. Today, we're going to dive into what makes the Shelly Plus One special and look at two very different examples of how I combine it with Home Assistant to control and automate my home. The Shelly Plus One and the newer version, the Shelly One Gen 3, are on the face of it probably the simplest modules in the Shelly range. They're compact Wi-Fi smart switches with a single input and a single output relay that can be powered using a range of AC and DC voltages. Like all the Shelly modules, Adding to Home Assistant is very simple with the Shelly integration, allowing automatic discovery and complete local control. As much as I love these little things, Shelly really need to get a grip of their naming conventions. First, we had the Shelly One, then the Shelly Plus One, now the Shelly One Gen 3. All essentially slightly newer versions of exactly the same module. Let's jump straight in and look at the first problem I solved. It's a good old fashioned outside motion sensor light, but with a twist. Using the Shelly One Plus, we can create a smart motion sensor light that not only turns on automatically, but reports motion back to Home Assistant and can be manually controlled from within Home Assistant. It's incredibly easy to set up and the integration with Home Assistant opens the door to many other interesting automations. But that's not all. I'm also using the Shelly One to control my drive gates. With the old gate opener, I could remotely open and close the gates from Home Assistant. But this new controller combined with the Shelly Plus One kicks that integration up a gear. We'll get back to that in a bit. So what is this magic trick that makes this otherwise very simple little module so special? It has a setting that allows you to decouple the switch from the internal relay. This allows us to use the switch as a binary sensor and to independently control the relay. By decoupling these, we can push all the clever logic into Home Assistant. Now let's see how all this works in practice with a motion sensor light. Just for this example on the bench here, I've just got a normal British plug that connects to three Wagos. So we've got neutral, live, and earth. So connected to the Wagos, we have the Shelly. So the Shelly has a neutral connection and a live connection. That is a quirk of the Shelly's. So you have 240 volts AC, neutral and live. But if you have a DC connection, those are the opposite way around. So neutral is positive DC and live is negative. So that's a bit weird. That threw me initially. We then have the live connection looped through and connected to the input of the relay. The output of the relay connects to the live connection of the LED and the other end of the LED connects to the neutral. So this is just basically a switch that you can control from Home Assistant that turns the light on and off. The other input on the Shelly here in the middle that is an earth cable with white on it. So that is the switched output from the motion sensor. So the motion sensor here, it gets a live connection and a neutral connection and a switched live connection. So when motion is detected, this becomes live. And that is detected on the switch input of the Shelly. There is a caveat with this. Some of these motion sensors, for some reason, pass a very small amount of current through, even when no motion is being detected. And the Shelly will detect that on the switch input. And what you'll find is the switch will look like it's always on. So you need to find a motion sensor that doesn't pass any current through when no motion is detected. I'll link down below to the ones that I found on Amazon. So we can see this in action. If we try not to electrocute ourselves, we can plug this in. So if we put the motion sensor over here, face it away from me, and we can turn this on. So, uh, so what have we got now? We've got a light and oh, motion, the light comes on. What have we replicated? We've replicated a, a dumb as 
motion sensor light. This is not much use. Whoa. So what's happening here? We've got power flowing to the motion sensor. When the motion sensor detects motion, it activates the switch on the Shelly, which in turn activates the relay, which turns on the LED. By itself, this is pretty useless. What is the point of this? This is just a motion activated light. You can just buy one of these in a DIY store. What this gives you is the ability to independently control the light and to see when motion is detected. So to do that, we need to add it in to Home Assistant. So this Shelly, I've never used it before, so I have to start by going to Smart Shelly app. Oh, and it's already found a new device. So add device, add device, start the inclusion process. Yay, success. Device, Bluetooth disabled. So let's call this flood light. So we have a floodlight test, pending connection. Why is it pending connection? Hurry up. Once added to your Wi-Fi network, the Shelly is automatically discovered in Home Assistant and can easily be added as a new device. So now in Home Assistant, we can turn the light on and off and we have a sensor. So where's this magic trick we've talked about? So we connect back to the Shelly. So we click on output settings, input output settings. We can select the option to detach switch and save the settings. So now, if I, ah, nothing happened. That's terrible. And if we go into Home Assistant, you see the sensor here shows off and the sensor's on. But the light didn't come on and we can turn the light on and off so now that gives us the option to do more or less whatever we like we can decide when the light comes on and off we can decide what happens when motion is detected or not detected we can use anything we like inside home assistant to turn the light on and off to make these lights work like a more traditional motion activated light i like using the sensor light blueprint it's got lots of options and i'll leave a link to it in the description down below now this does seem like a lot of effort to go to just to recreate a dumb motion sensor light. So what benefits do we get from this setup? The obvious two are that I can now manually switch the outside light on and off from Home Assistant. I also have a motion sensor that I could use for other automations as part of my security system. But on top of that, I also use this setup to allow one motion sensor to activate multiple external lights. I also use the person sensors it created by Frigate to switch on my outside lights if a person is detected in the garden at night and my alarm system is set. It can also turn on lights inside my house so that it looks like someone is awake and home and that would hopefully deter a burglar. No, wait a minute. I shouldn't have told you that. It doesn't do any of that. No, I am not sound asleep in bed. I am awake and I am turning the lights on and I'm coming outside to get you. Yeah. I guess the important point is this gives you options. It puts you in control. Let me know in the comments down below if you've used a similar system or if you've got any other great ideas of what you could do in Home Assistant with a setup like this. Now, if we circle back to my gate openers, we can see how I use almost exactly the same setup but for a completely different problem. I have these big wooden drive gates with electric gate openers, and I want to be able to control them remotely from Home Assistant. I already have wireless remotes in my cars that allow me to control the gates, open and close them, and it's connected to my Hikvision doorbell, but neither of these are ideal in all cases. The Hikvision integration either requires that I'm at the indoor station or that the cloud-based app is working, and it very rarely works. Control from Home Assistant takes this to the next level. Here are my old Topins gate opener. It has a relatively simple controller and we can connect up the relay of the Shelly One Plus to the input of the controller. Most of these controllers seem to provide an input that can be used to toggle the state of the gate. So if the gate is closed, it opens and if it's open, it closes it. To help with this, we can go into the settings of the Shelly and configure it to automatically switch off after one second. This essentially converts the relay into something that mimics a quick button press. So every time you toggle the button inside Home Assistant, 
the Shelly will close the relay for one second and then open it again. And you'll be able to see that inside Home Assistant. The button will be on and then a second later it will be off again. In my new gate opener, there's also an output that toggles on and off when the gate is in motion and then indicates if the gate is open or closed. I've connected this up to the switch input of the Shelly. This exposes the state of the gate in Home Assistant. So in addition to allowing me to control the gate, this also allows me to monitor the state of the gate inside Home Assistant. I did come across an interesting quirk with this setup. The Shelly module supports a wide range of AC and DC voltages, but the accessory power supply on this gate controller seems to supply 24 volt AC, which is not something the Shelly can deal with. This one had me stumped for a little bit, but once I realized what the problem was, I ended up connecting the Shelly directly to the 240 volt AC supply, and that worked okay. Both the Shelly Plus One and the Shelly Gen 3 have dry contacts, and that will work for both of my examples. For the motion light, you can also use devices like the Shelly One PM. The power monitoring this module adds is great, but it also means you forego the dry contacts. So your use case must be okay with the same voltage you use to power the Shelly flowing through the relay. As you can see, the Shelly One Plus is a game changer for home automation. With a little creativity, the possibilities are endless. So what are you waiting for? Go and grab a Shelly Plus One today and start automating your home. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.